90% of countries have experienced disruption to their health services. Cancer diagnoses have dropped by 50%, but the actual incidence of cancer has by no means declined that much, indicating a dangerous delay in intervention. With COVID's impact being global, really affecting every country around the world, and so many of these countries reporting interruptions in their regular health care, we're going to see these impacts for a very long time to come. There are many things that are occurring in the background. We have ongoing non-communicable diseases like heart attacks, strokes, cancer, that are killing millions of people every year. And we are really delayed in our ability to address those things. We're seeing short-term changes as a result of COVID-19. For example, childhood immunization rates are dropping. Similarly, diagnoses of cancer are being delayed or not being made. So down the road, we're likely to see increases in childhood communicable diseases. And we're also likely to see cancer potentially even at later stage because these earlier diagnoses are not being made. We're seeing shortages in healthcare workers, personal protective equipment, and other supplies and medications that are interrupted because supply chains are interrupted. So all of these things contribute to a global concern around healthcare and health service delivery. There are some things that healthcare systems and even patients can do to try to relieve some of the congestion. And those are things like participating in telemedicine, task shifting among healthcare workers. So perhaps we're gonna have healthcare workers taking on new jobs and needing some additional training in order to be able to do that. And then of course, making sure that supply chains for medications, personal protective equipment, and other supplies are as intact as possible so there are no gaps in the countries.